So I figured I'd just make a video real quick. Just got home from work and had another couple packages in the mail from a good old eBay. What I got today was these uh, snap-on boot covers, protective boots. Got two of them. I got one black and one gray for the CT 761s. Actually has a part number down in there. I got two of these because I got the CT 761 with the quick chuck on it. And then I also got the CT 761 3 Ace. You can see it's actually starting to get a little beat up. Not too bad yet, but I figured I'd get some boot covers on and get them protected like I got from my Milwaukee's here. I really like the Milwaukee boot covers. They're really thick rubber and, and they don't hang down very far. They're ni it's nice and clean cut all the way around. Doesn't rub on your fingers or anything. I got one for my half inch drive. And the other thing I got in the mail was um, one of these booties here. I don't know why I just said that. Go on the batteries. Is uh, I'm always watching Erico. Uh, what is that? I don't know, Erico. I can't think of his channel right now. West Main Auto? No, it's South Main Auto. South Main Auto. There's a couple of them out there, Southwest, but I know it's South Main Auto, SMA. Yeah, they're out in New York. And he's always talking about this stuff, fluid film, fluid film. He puts it on everything. And uh, I've been looking for it in my stores, like AutoZone and Napa. I couldn't find it, so I finally tracked it down on eBay and ordered me a six-pack cans of them. And it also comes with this cool little nozzle, 360-degree sprayer nozzle. Got them for like 54 bucks, all six cans in that nozzle. Plan on spraying it all under the, the ram here after this winter passes. Got the ram parked in the garage. Finally a nice day here in Connecticut. Got the garage door open. I figured I'd just make a little quick video. I'll slap these on real quick and uh, show you what they look like. And just like that. Not bad. I like the way they look. The black with the white. I like how they stick up past the edges like that. They stick up kind of far. I have to get used to that. Oh. I was playing around with them a little bit. I was noticing it's not really such a tight fit right here. I don't know if that's from like stretching it over the end. It's kind of sloppy right here. Or not sloppy, but like just loose. You can feel it. You put your hand here. So I was saying I like about the Milwaukee. It's very clean cut right there and tight fitting. It doesn't rub on your hand at all. Uh, Overall, it's going to protect the gun anyway, so that's what matters. This one's gray, it's got like a little sparkle in it, I guess. I didn't really know that when I bought it. I put the rubber boot on there. Real nice. And I just stuck boots on two random batteries I had. Got more in the bag. It's my battery bag. I carry everything inside in the winter. Just keep all my battery stuff in there. Just carry that in the house. Uh, just a quick little video I threw together. I've been waiting for these forever. They were stuck in the mail in Pennsylvania for like a month and a half. Well, anyways, thanks for watching. Real quick. I was just thinking, uh, I was putting everything back away in my box and I was looking at my uh, the magnetic boot covers for Snap-on for the 14.4 batteries. <clears throat> they don't fit <clears throat> over, I didn't think they would, but they definitely don't fit over there. You ain't, it's not enough room. You ain't putting that on there. Uh, this is a quick little thing. If, 
anybody was wondering. A real tight fit without a booty on it. They just fit on there. I tried, there's no way that's going to. And there you gotta take the boot off to put the magnet on. This is kind of, would be a pain. I got like eight batteries. So I figure I'll leave four booties on and I'll leave magnets on the other two. I guess I'll just, if I want a magnet, I'll just switch batteries, I guess. I got two, two magnets for them. Anyway, I just figured I'd add that in.